Hello friends, welcome to the Blue Cap channel, in today's video we will talk with you about the adventures of a nun, a teacher who teaches teenagers at school. A female teacher, a nun, falls in love with one of her model students at school, and does all sorts of wicked things to get her. He even makes the boy angry with his classmates and makes the girls who talk to him miserable. Who is this woman who is working in the school in the form of a nun and what are her goals? You will soon find out on the Moby Cap channel. This handsome teenager's name is Jason, he likes to play the guitar and sing. His parents did not approve of this talent and his father always wanted him to do something else. Jason was not an only child in the family, he has an adorable older sister named Zoe. So the film begins with Jason and Zoe being escorted to school by their parents. Teacher sister Rebecca greets them and tells Jason's parents that she will keep an eye on their children throughout the school year. Sister Rebecca also gets to know Sophia, a new teacher transferred here from another school. He acquaints Sophia with her work papers and asks her to wipe off her makeup before accepting her as a teacher at the school, as it would not be appropriate for the high school teacher nuns. As Sister Rebecca introduces a new teacher to the school, Sophia discovers that she has a student with a talent for singing. Sister Rebecca introduces him to a brief history of the young man. After a while, Jason settled in his bedroom, posted the song he sang on social networks, and read the positive comments under the video. Jason's song goes viral on social media and catches Sister Sophia's attention. Sophia listens to his song and falls in love with Jason. Sophia tries to get to know Jason better, and she compliments him on his singing talent. As the school bell rings, the class gathers and Jason meets Sarah, a classmate who has expressed an interest in him. When Sophia, the teacher, enters the classroom and introduces herself, she notices Sarah talking to Jason and warns him that there will be no romance at school. Sister Sophia also forgets to pray to God before class, which Zoe reminds her teacher to do. Zoe is not satisfied with the behavior of her new teacher, who does not think of her as a pleading nun. Meanwhile, Sarah, who is writing a love letter to her brother Jason, disturbs them. After school, Jason is going up to his bedroom when he is stopped by his teacher, Sophia, who is proud to have a student like Jason. She also wonders if Jason and Sarah really have a romantic relationship. Jason tells his teacher that he doesn't have a girl he likes, and Sophia leaves with a look of joy on her face. In the evening, Sister Sophia enjoys listening to her pupil Jason sing in her room. She likes Jason more and more. The next morning before school starts, Jason meets his classmate Sarah. Against all odds, Sarah tries to get intimate with him right now, but Sister Sophia stops them. Sarah's behavior towards Jason infuriates Sophia. He tells Sarah that his parents are rich, and warns him that he will personally watch over her for the rest of the school year. Sister Sophia makes Sarah jealous of Jason, as we can tell from her sarcastic look on Sarah. As the school bell rings, as everyone leaves the classroom, Sister Sophia interrupts Jason to tell him she has something to say. She invites Jason to her room after school, saying she has something important to tell him. Jason says he's not allowed to go to his teacher's bedroom, but Sister Sophia says she can if she wants to. Jason accepts his teacher's invitation and heads to his room after school. At this point, we can see that Sister Sophia's intentions are not good, as she prepares to meet Jason in an open towel. Sensing Jason's approach, Sophia flaunts herself in front of the young man's eyes. Jason looks at her body and realizes that if she doesn't leave, there will be big problems. He goes to his bedroom and can't get Sister Sophia out of his mind and starts thinking about her incessantly. Sister Sophia begins to appear in his eyes in different frames. The next day Sister Sophia confronts him and asks him why he didn't come to her room last night. Jason says that even though he went there, he pretended he hadn't. The next day was a day off for students, so they could go home. Before Jason goes home, he and Sarah are surprised to hug. Seeing this, Sister Sophia's face shows anger towards Sarah. She takes a day off from Sister Rebecca on the pretext that her sister is sick. In doing so, he planned to take Jason home. In the evening, Jason spends time with his family at home, and his father is interested in his future plans. Jason says he'll practice singing until the end of the year and release his own album sometime after school. His father warns him that after school, he will face great difficulties, as he has yet to find a profession. Jason walks out with his guitar, saying that he won't stay for dinner with them because his father doesn't understand him. Although it is late, Sophia arrives at Jason's house and begins to watch him from afar, hearing his sweet song. 
Meanwhile, Sarah calls Jason and invites him to the party, but Jason declines. Sophia overhears this conversation and realizes that Jason and Sarah are having an affair and drinks a bottle of whiskey to calm herself down. While drinking wine, he comes up with a great way to get rid of Sarah. In the evening, Sophia returns to school and sneaks into the girls' dormitory while everyone is sleeping. He goes into Sarah's room and puts a small amount of marijuana powder in her book. The next day, everyone gathers in the school classroom and prays to God before the start of the lesson, and Sister Sophia advises the students to open the topic on page 39 of the book. Sarah opens her book and finds a banned substance inside, which ends with her being expelled from school. Sister Sophia tells Rebecca that the boys' dorm should also be checked, and at Sophia's initiative, the school administration begins to search the boys' dorms. They find a bottle of booze in Jason's bed, and the guy is shocked and says it's not his. The young man was right, Sister Sophia had deliberately hidden him in her bed to make him look guilty. Sister Rebecca says that Jason's parents should be told because this has happened to him before. Then Sister Sophia asks him to lighten the punishment and offers Jason a fair punishment, saying that he can stay after school and do extra work. Jason thanks Sister Sophia for alleviating his guilt. After a while, we see scenes of Sophia's secrets. Even before she came to the school as a nun, she had been a fan of Jason watching his videos, and she read in the newspaper that a teacher was being transferred to the school where Jason taught. He kills that teacher with an iron weapon and takes possession of her nun's documents and car. He changes his first and last name to that of the dead nun and replaces her as a teacher at the school. The goal was to be with Jason. When Jason is busy with extra work after school, Sister Sophia comes to him and starts helping him. Sister Sophia pretends to be hot in front of Jason again, and he tries to ignore it. Finally, Sister Sophia takes advantage of everyone sleeping in the evening to come to Jason's bedroom and kiss him. As Jason becomes more and more aware of what she wants, he tries to control his emotions by telling her it's wrong. But Sophia, by inviting him to her, makes the young man's feelings jump, and they are intimate together in bed. The next day, Sister Sophia meets Jason in front of the school and reassures Jason, who is still reeling from what happened the night before, that the secret will stay between them. They agree not to tell anyone about it. A few days later, Jason came to the synagogue because his conscience was tormented by what he had done with the nun's teacher, and he told the monk about his sin. Unfortunately, instead of Father Monk, his teacher Sophia was there. Sophia is moved by the young man's words and begins to make him feel emotional again. Jason stops resisting her and becomes intimate with her again. As the student's holiday approaches, Sister Sophia takes a leave of absence from Sister Rebecca again citing her sister's illness and she feels at ease watching videos of Jason sitting in his car in front of her house. Jason eats dinner with his parents at home, and he behaves differently in front of his family. He sneaks out of his parents' house and goes to a party where he drinks to his heart's content. Jason is spotted drunk on the street by an off-duty police officer who tells him to take him to court because minors are not allowed to consume alcohol. At that moment, Sophia, the nun teacher, appears there and saves Jason from possible prosecution. She also brings Jason home and admits that her feelings for him are positive, and she and Jason discuss running away to Paris and getting married there. She convinces Jason to leave with her, saying that the woman has enough money to create the life of his dreams. Jason declines her offer, much to her disappointment. The next day, Jason arrives at the school dormitory to find Sister Sophia lying unconscious in his place. Jason tries to bring him back to consciousness, but this turns out to be a trick of Sophia's. She was now convinced that Jason loved her. The next day, he is transferred to Sarah's school again, because his parents are rich and they provide the school with permanent funds. Sister Sophia doesn't like this, and she goes to the girls' dormitory later in the evening and smashes Sarah's head against the wall. When Zoe goes into the bathroom to take a shower, she finds Sarah dead, covered in blood. The police believe that Sarah committed suicide, but Jason disagrees. When Jason decides to tell the school administration about Sister Sophia's actions, she shows Jason a recording on her phone of what the two of them did in bed. Jason threatens to share the video on social media if he tells anyone about Sophia's involvement in Sarah's death. At the same time, he insists that the offer he made to Jason to get out of here still stands. Meanwhile, Zoe learns the truth between Sophia and Jason. Zoe's teacher points out that Sophia is suspicious because she behaves like a nun. 
The next day, Sister Rebecca invites Sophia to her house to talk. Meanwhile, Zoe and Jason sneak into Teacher Sophia's room and start going through her papers. It turns out that Sister Sophia's real face is different, and they check the notebook there to find out that her real name is Laura. In the next footage, we see that Sister Rebecca Ham is aware of his secret. When Rebecca tries to turn him into the police, he knocks Rebecca unconscious with a hard object on her head. With Zoe and Jason aware of Sophia's true identity, they go to Sister Rebecca, where Laura appears. He drops Zoe on her head and knocks her to the ground, and Rebecca stops him as he tries to kill her. When Jason senses that things are getting worse, he grabs a piece of iron and stabs Laura in the back. After Laura's death, the chaos at the school stops and good times begin for everyone there. Thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel.